All right, stats, we're starting here with your Monday video. Our sponsors, they have fallen asleep. They are tired. This is the, the eighth video here being made. Eighth or ninth, we've lost track. Anyway, let's talk about Hudson 21 in your notes package. You're writing a book on poker that the probability of being dealt three of a kind is one out of 50. What does that mean? That means, A, if you deal with thousands of poker hands, the fra uh, Fraction of them that it contain exactly three of a kind is going to be very close to one out of 50. Very close to one out of 50. Basketball player shoots eight free throws. Sample space for counting the number of makes that she has. Number of buckets is zero. The number is zero to eight. This is all the sequences of like exactly uh, like the entire sample space of, of what could happen, which would be two to the eighth. 256 different ways to different outcomes for shooting eight baskets, believe it or not. That sample space is huge. All right, I'm talking about blood type on the next ones. Probable model is discrete. It's discrete, you have four, four different choices of blood type. Probability that a randomly chosen American has type AB blood, sorry about the lighting there, A B, a -B is just one minus 0.96, add these up, it's 96, one minus that is 04. Maria has type B blood. She can safely receive blood transfusions with, from people with O and B. What's the probability she can have a blood transfusion from a randomly chosen American? Add up O. Add up B. 0.56. What's the probability a randomly chosen American does not have O? The complement of O. 1 minus 4, 5 is 5, 5. In a table of random digits, such as table B, each digit is equally likely to be any of those numbers. What's the probability? That's a digit in the table zero. It's one out of the 10 choices. One out of the 10. And the same at table. What's the probability that you're gonna have seven or more? That's gonna be seven, eight, or nine. There's no digit 10. That's three of the 10. All right, choose an American household at random. Let X be the number of cars they have, including SUVs and light trucks. Not toy trucks, not toy cars. I guess even those uh, smart cars count, the itty bitty ones they own. All right, here's the probability model. If we ignore the few households that own five or more, so we're gonna call this five plus. A housing company builds houses with two car garages. What percent of homes can uh, have more cars than the garage can hold? Probability that X is greater than two, which in this case is three or more, because you can't have 2.1 cars or two and a half cars. You can write it either or, they mean the same thing. Add up those three numbers, 0 0.20 is 20%. All right, on 1031 here, part A, you record the number of hits and misses, hits the made basket. You either make it or you don't. Two to the fourth, because you're shooting four, 16. There's 16 different outcomes. We'll talk about this when we flip the coin, heads or tails. So you could have a hit, 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 hit. You make all four of them. These are all the different ways you can make three and miss one. Make the first three, miss it. Make it, make it, miss, make. Make it, miss, make it, make it, miss it. Make it, make it, make it. All the way down to four straight misses. There's 16 of them, so you can just use a dot, dot, dot. Definitely write all of B though. We write S for sample space, and this is cassette notation. How many baskets can they make? Will they ever make zero? One, two, three, or four? They can't make 3.8, they can't make 0 0.2 baskets. Education of young, uh, young adults have been making too many videos. The speech is getting bad. Choose a young adult, age 25 to 29 at random. The probability is 0.13 that they Completed, uh, they did not complete high school. It's 0.29 that they have high school diploma but no further education, and 0.30 that they have at least a bachelor's degree. What's the probability that you choose someone that has education beyond high school but not a bachelor's degree? So that could be associate's degree, uh, trade school. Um, they might include people that like attempted college, got a few credits, but did not complete either an associate's or bachelor's. All right, and that's one minus all the probabilities you're given, 0 
What's the probability that they have at least a high school degree? One minus point one three. If you're gonna see in the Illinois Towns project, that's that number is very, very true, the high school graduation rate. And that's something hopefully it goes up, but it, it you know, it's been what well, it has gone up, so so maybe it will dip into the low nineties. Um, we shall see. Stat, uh, Stats Canada. That sounds like a fun place to work. All right, so what's the probability you choose an area that is forested? Do this divided by this. I am going to go like 0.454, something like that. Anyway, type that in. What's the probability it's not forested? It's going to be 1 minus that answer that you got. All right, let's talk about foreign language. Choose a student grades 9 through 12 at random and ask if he or she is studying a language other than English. Those are the distributions. So I've done the math here. Explain why it's a uh, legitimate probability model. Add up all those probabilities. Add to 1. What's the probability uh, that it randomly chosen? And you have all of the different, uh, you know, you got all the languages and then people that don't take a language. Everything is accounted for. What's the probability a randomly chosen student is studying a language other than English? 1 minus 0.59 is 0.41, or you can add up the four first numbers you see. What's the probability that the chosen student is taking French, German, or Spanish? Add up those first three languages. All right, 1036. What's the probability that the vehicle you choose has any other color than the six listed? Do you want to go other? That's 37, 53, 66, 78, 90. One minus 0. 0.90. The other category is that. It's probability you choose something that is neither silver nor white. The first two. Add up 19 and 18 and subtract that from one. Talk about race. Census Bureau allows each person to choose from a long list of races. All right, here's what we got. Verify it's a legitimate one. Uh, add them all up, you're gonna get one. What's the probability randomly chosen American is Hispanic? Add up all of those, and I think if you add up that column, you get 0.149. Non-Hispanic, Whites are historical majority in the U.S. Was a probability a randomly chosen American is not a member of this group. So one minus that cell right there, that number, that exact, you know, think of it like an Excel cell, one minus that one. Okay, and uh, I want to save, we're going to have one more day where I just kind of tie up these notes, hopefully Tuesday the 19th. I want to save this one here. Then uh, the homework set, chapter 10 homework set, which I did leave for you. I might make another video just for a little help. I want you to get started on that. So I want you to get started on that. All right. Um, I think we can handle that. All right. We're going to save the rest of this packet also for Tuesday the 19th. Folks, make sure your review homework set is done. That's due Wednesday the 20th. And uh, early the next week, that Chapter 10 one's going to be due as well. Then we will take a quiz. Chapter 10 has a quiz, and we'll get into Chapter 11. All right, folks, this is Yak Math Videos, and we are signing out.